Hello guys and today I'm going to show you some food from Romania now this is bought locally very near to shop near here and it says sweet corn um, but they're actually flavoured corn pops so it says here flavoured corn pops okay and on the back it says produced by and it mentions Romania so and so even though it says GB that just means English language because they just say the same thing in different languages and then it mentions Romania so this is apparently some food from Romania guys okay now it is in date um, it's dated the 27th of September 2024 it's currently the 11th of July and I'm now going to open it up and now I'm going to get one of them out so this is one of the um, flavoured corn puffs if you like and it is a strange taste um, I think I have tried to emulate watsits over here these cheese watsits but they use sweet corn instead um, I must admit, until I saw these, I've never come across any sweet corn flavoured snacks before, I don't think. Um, maybe this is some sort of strange Romanian delicacy. I know sometimes they do have some stores nearby where they do actually um, sell food from Romania. Because apparently there were some Romanians living here. And, um, possibly not many anymore because of Brexit, but that's another matter. And it says extruded snacks from corn grits with sweet corn taste. Now, I've had sweet corn on uh, in sandwiches. Sometimes you can buy... Um, tuna and sweet corn flavoured sandwiches over here where they've made them professionally um, and probably do them yourself I'll be honest originally I didn't think the, this would be very good but I got it for the surprise value because I've never seen anything like this personally not that it's English anyway um, but I must admit quite surprised a lot more taste than I thought there would be are actually quite juicy and much more than I thought they would be I'm not like eating a normal packet of crisps um, I've opened what fits in the past my mouth has helped dry my mouth actually feels juicy after this so I think this may be a successful Romanian delicacy um, I don't know um, I'm just see if they tell you even what the ingredients are, but it might be in some strange language. Again, I'll just show you another one. It just looks like a sort of what's it if you like, but very but it's actually a bigger than what's it. So and to put this into perspective, it's about the size of, you know, two thirds of my finger. So for example, if you take the thirds on my finger, one, two, three, it's at roughly about two thirds of a finger roughly and so and they've obviously got this sort of dog mascot on the front um, maybe I'm stupid here 
Maybe I don't get it. Because it looks like it's in a bowl. Maybe I've completely misunderstood what this thing is for. Maybe I'm not even eating this in the right way. Maybe you're meant to put this in a bowl and have it with um, milk. You know, like cornflakes or, you know, something like that. I have no idea. Um, you know, maybe or maybe I'm just reading too much into this bowl thing. I have no idea. Um, but... A good says it's a snack, so... And it says, Guaranteed Original. So maybe this is actually some sort of branded name. I don't know. I'm not an expert on Romanian branded food, so I wouldn't know. Maybe this is the creme de la creme of Romanian food and the most exotic Romanian food. I wouldn't know, to be honest. So, um, it says, Ingredients. Corn grits. And they do use the word grits, okay? 60% palm oil, maltodextin, dextrose, salt, flavourings, sugar, colouring, and curcumin. So they're obviously not on board with the no artificial colours and, and flavourings business. They obviously want to make a, put a lot of artificial stuff in this, just like America does. Right? Whereas... In Britain, we tend to prefer things advertised that things have got no artificial colours or artificial flavours, but they clearly don't care about it because they're Romanians and Romanians are really poor, and they don't care about whether it's artificial or not. They just want it cheap because that's what they can afford. So there you go. Um, I'm a bit disappointed it's about the, the artificial stuff, but you might expect, I suppose. I'll have to check some of the snacks I have and see how artificial they are. But, um, but as I said, it does taste quite nice. I will be honest. Coming from Romania, I'm quite surprised. Um, so would I recommend it? If you don't care about the fact it's got artificial gum in it, yes. Um... So, there you go, guys. Gisto sweet corn flavoured corn puffs. A surprising find. I wasn't expecting much. I, I thought it, I got this purely for the surprise value, just to show you guys, because I've never seen anything like this before, not in what I would call English English snacks. So, there you go. Not but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm completely wrong, you know. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.